Hey, how you doing today? My name is Ryan. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, I wanted to talk about Hollow Knight. I mean, why, why wouldn't I? Hollow Knight's one of the best games out there, but I'm not here to talk about the good things. I want to talk about the five worst feelings in Hollow Knight. Because when playing this game, there's a couple of times where it just kind of feels bad. You know what I mean? And it's not because the game is bad or the controls or something bad has happened, but there's some points in the game where it just gets so difficult and it can be a pain, to say the least. Before we begin, there will be spoilers for Hollow Knight. Clearly, we're going to be talking about things that happen. For the most part, a lot of this stuff is going to be late game stuff. So, if you don't want spoilers, you've been warned. The very first one is killing friendly NPCs. There's only a couple of times where you even have the choice or the option to kill an NPC. You might not have even known you had the option. And so we're gonna talk about this right now. First one is Myla. Myla is an awesome character, right? She's she's an enemy, but you, we get to see her before she has been taken by the infection. She's chilling, she's singing, she's having a good time, she's peaceful. We like Myla. We stand Myla around here, and we try we try our best to never kill her in a randomizer. Sometimes things happen. Anyways, we love Myla. And it is so sad to watch her turn and slowly become infected as you get new and more abilities. Her getting infected, it just, it could bring a tear to your eye. It feels bad. Like, you go back and you're like, oh, let me go see my friend. One of the one of the few friendly characters in the game, at least, at least they... From from an enemy, very few enemies who are who are friendly like that, right? You go go check up on Myla. Now she's infected. She wants to fight. Like, come on, Myla. We were friends. I got nothing against you. Remember me. Like, I, I wish she could be more like Sly, where she comes back after starting to get infected. But alas, no, Myla. We, we don't have to end her. We don't have to kill her. But it's just sad that that she's going down, right? And along the same lines, this one tricked a lot of people. You've got the nail smith. After you've upgraded your nail all the way to the pure nail you've got the nail smith who leaves his hut and you can see him outside right here he's just chilling but he's asked you to strike him down with the best nail that he could possibly make and most people do it most people strike him down with that nail thinking that that's what you're supposed to do and granted there's an achievement for it but if you do it it's not the best it doesn't feel good because you may not have known that you could actually save the nail smith and over here you can see him chilling. He's got a friend. And you get a different achievement. The happy couple achievement. You can't get both of these achievements on the same save game file. You have to you have to both kill the nail smith and not kill the nail smith. But learning this information feels bad. You did you kill the nail smith? Did you do it? I bet you did. I could just tell. Just looking at you. The fourth worst feeling in Hollow Knight is actually trying to deliver the delicate flower. And hear me out. This is one of those things that maybe not everyone had a problem with this, but I remember the first time I tried to deliver the delicate flower, I was taking damage like immediately after picking up the delicate flower from the gray mourner. I'd be going down the path. I'd see this first enemy here and just instant, instant death. And I didn't know the trick. I probably should have cleared the path, killed the enemies ahead of time before trying to deliver. That's not the hard part. The hard part is always that last jump. When you enter the room with all the spikes, you think that you've gotten through the hardest part of it. You've defeated all the enemies, you've made your way, but that last jump, that last jump when you hit the spikes just like that and it's just like... You spent so much time, especially if you went through and took all the time to backtrack, learn the route, kill all the enemies, then go pick up the flower and then walk your happy little hollow night tushy all the way back. Well, then you hit you hit this flower and it's, it's just a bad time. It just doesn't feel very good. The third worst feeling in Hollow Knight has to deal with the Path of Pain. This area is extremely difficult because it's a lot different than anywhere else we've been through Hollow Knight thus far. We've never done quite this difficult of platforming. I mean, yes, the White Palace is difficult, but this is on a whole nother level. The first area for the Path of Pain is very difficult. In fact, I think that it's kind of the barrier to entry. If you can pass this first major section in the Path of Pain, I personally believe that you're gonna be just fine and you'll be able to do the entire Path of Pain. That said, the last step 
to the path of pain is also extremely difficult yes it's more difficult than the first part but with all of the skills and platforming that you've done up to this point you should be able to do it that said there's a curveball right at the very end after you drop into the final room all of a sudden you've got two enemies to fight that deal double damage and if you're not ready to destroy them or you forgot to heal just before you went through there's a chance that you die in the final room and if you don't know if you haven't had this worst feeling it makes you start the entire path of pain all over again there's 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 very few things that feel quite this bad the fourth worst feeling in hollow knight is going through your steel soul run and dying to something silly now for the most part steel soul is not the hardest thing it's it's difficult don't get me wrong and mistakes can be made it is very possible that you're running through the map you could even be closer to the end of the game you've got all the abilities you've got double jump you've got extra mask and whatever else but if you're not paying attention it is very possible you get caught off guard you're in a room where you might not be able to heal very easily you're climbing you're jumping and then that one enemy catches you by surprise and you die just like that and you lose your entire steel soul run hours worth of work and you know what some people will just say hey if you get down to one or two masks you should just pause the game quit reload at a bench i personally i'm not the biggest fan of that strategy i think that uh i think that you you you're taking on a challenge play however you want to play don't let me judge you shame you however you, however you think you're feeling about that don't feel that i'm gonna say you play however you want i personally think I would like to uh, go for the challenge and not save quit. But let me know what you think. Did you ever try Steel Soul? And leave me a, a note in the comments. Did you die to your Steel Soul run? And if you did, how? I want to know. I bet you there's some good stories out there. The absolute worst feeling in Hollow Knight is making your way all the way through the fifth Pantheon, finally making it to the absolute radiance. Not just the first time, but maybe your third, fourth, fifth time. Getting all the way to the climb, getting good, feeling like this could be the run where you spent an entire hour defeating enemy after enemy after enemy and then when you finally get to the climb or the top just being smacked down oh it feels so bad because you spent all that time working there grinding fighting all the bosses and you have to do it all over again so there you have it those are my top five worst feelings in hollow knight let me know what you think down in the comments below what is the worst feeling in the game for you i'd love to hear your stories because i'm sure a lot of people have different stories depending on how far they made it into the game oh so good though i love this game you can't have the the, the feeling of absolute awesome without the feeling of the pain if you want to know the top five best feelings in hollow knight i'll leave a link down in the description you can check it out here thank you so much to my members who've been supporting the channel thank you for watching to the end and i'll talk to you again more real soon thanks bye